Welcome to another edition of IMO Sports with Pedro Justice. Well, by now you may have heard that Aaron Hernandez committed suicide in his prison cell at 3 a.m. this morning. Um, it's with a sad and heavy heart that something like this has happened. And the reason I say that is because even though the athletes do not intend to be role models or a person that kids look up to, well, kids still look up to them. And this story is very tragic in the sense that he was a great young football player, but there had to be something inside of him, demons inside of him that have been bothering him his whole life for him to stick around with the crowd that he was sticking around or hanging around to commit these acts or to be even charged for committing any type of act. So the fact that he just was acquitted of the double murder trial and then you see that he killed himself, he still was serving life in prison and maybe he heard some really bad news and then he was probably going to be in prison for the rest of his life and he couldn't take that. He was excited about getting off the double murder and then probably heard some news that, well, you're still going to be in jail for the rest of your life and and just decided to take his own life. And, it, and it's sad because your young kid, your child, your brother, uh, your son, <clears throat> your uh, student, your player, they're going to see this and read about this and I want you to explain to them that this is not how life is or this doesn't have to be the way life turns out for you that life is good life is important it's special it's precious the people you hang around with will lead you to your end destination if you want your kids to have a good life and grow up to be good young men and women Make sure you watch and see the people that they hang around because my condolences go out to his family. I am trying to not be insensitive to their pain, but people need to hear this. You do not want to follow the path of Aaron Hernandez's life because it's a tragic story. And then ESPN and Fox and all of these shows are going to go on and on about it. And then for years to come, we'll talk about this because it's another young athlete who did not fulfill his potential in life. Forget about the sports, just in life. Lawrence Phillips, we've seen this time and time again. These young people, I can't even imagine what it is like to be in prison. So I'm not here to pass judgment, but something had to happen between being acquitted of the murder trial and then taking your own life. It, it's just sad. Again, my condolences go out to his family. I'm praying for you guys. I know this is hard. He has a daughter, fiance, wife, every, all those people in his life, his family, you send prayers to them. But let this be an example that all this glitz is not glamour. All the shine, when it looks like everything is great, you don't know what's going on inside of somebody. You just do not know. This is a sad day. Um, I'm not a Patriots fan, but again, this has nothing to do with sports. It's just a sad, tragic event, and they're going to go on and on about it. But I just had to put my two cents in on the subject. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, until next time, it's Pedro Justice. We'll